In my last video, I soldered this tiny pick mic controller onto this PCB, uh, but it's not programmed, and so in this video, I'm gonna try and program it. I've got some pads on the board which I designed onto the board, which are for in circuit serial programming for the pick mic controller. Now, I've got some of these, um, you can see them, they're, they're little pogo pins. Not very good at focusing on them. Um, and what they do is they they got like a little spring spring loaded tips, so that when you bring them down onto the, onto the PCB, uh, they they actually uh, provide a good method of connecting, um, so that they they all lie on the PCB evenly. So I've put them on on this rig, got like five of them there, and I bring them up through these wires. Now I've got these wires so that because I might lay out the the pads differently uh, depending on the project, depending on how easy it is to lay out pads in a certain order. So I've got wires on, on here so that I can reorder the, the configuration of, of how I do the pro in circuit programming. Uh, and then I've got a wire coming up here and around onto my PIC programmer back here, which I've shown in previous videos. Uh, and that's just my standard PIC programmer. I've got it going into an eight pin uh, socket at the back. Uh, so it just plugs straight in as, as it would a, a PIC uh, device um, and so what I'm, I've got this this rig um, it's got like an arm and I was hoping to get like a wing nut so I could tighten and loosen this but at the minute I've just done it so it tightens up nice and tight uh, so that I can bring it down onto the board and I've got to get it on, on top of those pads and so once it's on top of those pads if in the command line uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go List the devices first of all. So it's it's this device here, a uh, 12F629. If I display what's in the memory of 12F629, it shows blank in the EPROM, blank in the program ROM. Uh, but what's important at this point is just this this bit at the end. So it's identified the chip. So that means it's uh, talking to the chip OK. So those POGO pins are, are on the board uh, and they're actually uh, making proper contact in order for for it to be. Um, displaying that so that's good to do that first uh, and then what I can do is I can write to the device my program uh, so if I use my send the, tech, the hex file to it and so that's writing to the EPROM then writing to the uh, program memory that should write the program up don't worry about that program failed around here because that's just the, the writing the config and the config doesn't write, read back as it writes and so I need to modify my program I just so it ignores that um, but if I then display it again because I've got code protect and uh, of the EPROM and the program memory on it just reads back zeros uh, but we can see as it's read back things I've written to the ID um, and the config is now updated as well um, so what I'll do is I'll take that up. I'll just move that out of the way. And I'll turn. I'll turn this over and show it powered up. So I'm going to connect a power lead. Um, I've got like a, an 18650 battery. Uh, now normally uh, I normally power this project using a solar, a small solar panel, but um, this is just a bit more convenient to to power it up using using this and if I, oops, if I connect this to the to the battery so what you can see is uh, the, LED, the blue LED is flashing which is a sign uh, that it's working and this LED down the bottom is is on but if I press this button it moves around so that's programmed fine and if I hold the button down then the middle buttons the middle LEDs uh, rotate around so that's that's actually successfully programmed 